take to avoid springtime allergies. Yeah, allergists saying that pollen is in fact at historic highs compared to years past, and it seems like we all have some kind of an allergy problem. So, what's the best strategy for you? Oh, spring is in the air, and so is <laughs> pollen. It's prime time for allergy sufferers. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm Dr. Amran. Take Ren Gibson, who recently moved here from Michigan. Very frustrating when you can't really hear when people are talking to you because you're plugged up or you're constantly sniffling. The runny nose, itchy throat and eyes. It's annoying because it messes up my makeup when I have to itch them all the time. Let's have a look. And upper respiratory issues are often largely that, all annoying right. and often manageable with over-the-counter medications. <coughs> but with coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, or lower respiratory problems, consider seeking more prompt medical attention. Allergist Dr. David Amra. Over the last few weeks, uh, several people that we felt like the best treatment would be to be observed in the hospital and get aggressive therapy. If allergies seem bad this year, they are. Some of the pollen count that we've seen over the last few weeks are historically high. Uh, to compare it over the last few years. Dr. Amran's advice, take medicine or nasal sprays <laughs> early, even before symptoms. If you would have wait until the last minute and decide, wow, I can't breathe, now I have to go to the hospital. Good advice. Now, typically, allergy season starts in January. The first wave, yeah, that's going to be your tree pollens. That's that irritating green pollen on your cars. You see, that's from pine. Here are some of the most common culprits, cedar, elm, pine, oak, and several more. Then around March, yeah, lucky us, what do we get? The grass pollens, that's what we're in the thick of right now. And here are some of the most common culprits there. Timothy, Bermuda, Bahia, Orchard, and a couple more here. All of this doesn't even begin to cover ragweed and mold. How lucky are we living here in Houston? Allergists do say anything that removes or reduces pollen helps, like washing your hair or your face, and those neti pots that help rinse your nasal passages, those can also also give you some good relief. My Break mom up. swears by that neti pot. I still can't work up the courage to use it. All right. I, I got to <laughs> tell you, I do use them and they do work. Oh, good to know. <laughs> hey.